I spent five years at a girls' uh, correctional facility, there was, and then three additional years working for the government in the inner city of Nashville, Tennessee. And I was in the emergency child protective services unit. And I realized God was starting to put a dream on the inside of my heart because I knew that apart from Christ, there was no such thing as a life that could be changed. And finally, one day, I just heard the Lord speak to my heart. You've spent five years dealing with angry teenage girls, and now I'm taking you back in time and showing you what happened to them and why they're so angry. The three things that God showed me to do, take young women in free of charge. They need to know that your love is pure, that you're not trying to make money off their problem. Secondly, God showed me your needs will be met through your giving, and I want you to give at least 10% of what comes into your ministry to other ministries and offerings when I tell you, and I will touch the hearts of people to become monthly partners or to, and to give offerings. And the third thing God showed me is I don't want you to ever take state or government funding or any other money with strings on it where they come in and say, you don't have the freedom to share Christ. Because without that freedom, the lives will not change. I was very obsessed with not feeling any emotion. When I started the suicidal phase in my life. When I was in third grade, I was molested at a sleepover at my friend's house. I, I tried my first line of cocaine and became addicted from that point on. I ended up getting pregnant and due to my alcohol addiction, I did lose the baby. This was all life was, like I was done with it. God has not given me a spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. Whether they're addicts, eating disorders, sexually abused, sex traffic, it does not matter what the problem is. Jesus Christ is the answer. His name is above every name that can be named. When I first started in 1983, I remember feeling really excited. And I made the drive about eight hours or so there, eight and a half. And I prayed all the way there. I got there, and, and so I raised up a program director. I was there for seven years in Louisiana, came back to Nashville to open what was the second home. Then a few years later, we built uh, our three-story office building on the same property. Uh, after that, we added a home in St. Louis, Missouri, Sacramento, California, started international locations in the United Kingdom, New Zealand, Canada. We own property in the Panhandle of Florida. We plan on building a home there. And I have visions for other cities in the United States and other countries as well. But there's so many great things that are going on through the lives of the girls. I mean, literally, God is multiplying his, himself through the outreaches, all the things that these young women are doing in the United States and beyond. And Really, mercy multiplied is a more accurate description of what's happening because all these years later, since 1983, we have thousands and thousands and thousands of young women that are out there doing great things because of what they experienced and the change that Christ did. He gave them a new heart and a new spirit, a new vision for their life, new purpose. It's a perfect description of what God does at Mercy every day, mercy multiplied. I think God's vision is just continued growth, continued expansion more outreach programs like our, our Keys to Freedom study, which is to equip churches, to educate leaders, and us continuing to raise up more and more leaders from all the generations just so we can just see a perpetuation of what we're already doing continue. We're not done. We're just getting started. <laughs>